So in the end, there were two things that the lawyers from the company which shall not be named asked me to do, and here they are. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. Whether you've been a fan of me for a long time or this is your very first video that you're watching, you probably came across these guys on the internet at one point or another. This particular pair has uh, seen better days, and if you aren't familiar with the story, I made these bad boys this past summer, and about a week or two later, this whole debacle unraveled, and it sorta took the internet by storm. And now that things are pretty much resolved, which we'll get into later, we're gonna add a new family member to the Gator Grips collection. Oh yeah, that's right. They are officially called the Gator Grips. They are no longer the company which shall not be named gloves. But we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right into this project and figure out exactly what type of fashion item we're going to make inspired by the Gator Grip gloves. So let's get into it. So to decide what we're actually gonna be making today, I'm gonna turn to you guys for a little bit of inspiration. So I put this post up on my Instagram stories, so let's go through some of the answers and figure out what we're gonna be making today. Okay, right there, the very first one, an umbrella. I could picture the holes that are on the back of the gloves up on an umbrella, so all of the water is still unnecessarily coming down. However, it's a wonderful idea, I just don't know exactly if I could build it. We'll put that in the maybe column. Some knee pads, a gator hat, a chastity belt. I think if you're wearing anything from the gator collection, it's automatically a chastity belt. A gator helmet, gator underwear. I just don't think I'm going to be comfortable modeling a pair of holy gator underwear for my Instagram account. Gator hat, gator ball, gator condom for sure, gator hat, underwear, a hat, gator socks, gator underwear, mask for coronavirus. I don't think I'm touching that topic. A gator fedora, that one could be good. Oh, and the next one right after that, gator sun hat slash visor. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so it seems like the two most popular choices are some sort of hat and underwear. And I'm not making underwear, so I think I'm gonna go with that gator sun hat slash visor idea. Like I mentioned for the umbrella, I can picture the brim of the hat having a bunch of holes. I think we have it. I think we have the idea that we're gonna run with, the gator visor. So let's grab the gator grips, we'll find a visor, and figure out where we want the design aspects of the gloves to be transferred to the visor itself. I'm excited, I'm excited, let's go do this. Okay, over here I do have a bucket of fabric. Let's see, we do have a beanie, those are gloves. Oh, okay, so we have a visor. Let's use this as sort of the base of the design and mock it up and see how we want this bad boy to look as the gator visor. Let's go do that. Okay, I have the visor, I have a gator grip, and I have this blue painter's tape and a Sharpie. Now all I need to do is cover this entire thing in painter's tape, and that way we can draw on it and mock the whole thing up. So the first thing I mentioned was the holes on the top of the glove they are going to live on the top of the visor. So we have some holes that will all be perfectly aligned on the top of the visor here. And I think that will be a good signature look. Also, I think the visor should have the little holes that are at the top of each finger located all around the outside edge of the brim to give it a nice little additional dimension to it and that beautiful flare that we need. And the next design aspect are gonna be the holes that are located here around the cuff of the gator grips. We're gonna add those all along the top edge of the visor. And just like the cuff of the gator grips, we're gonna add the little holes in between the holes around the top edge of the visor. And lastly, we just need somewhere to put the strap. I think that will go perfectly right here and here and then it can sort of sit and flop forward when you're wearing the flop. Maybe it can flop backwards too, who knows? But now I'm gonna go to my computer, make a 3D design of this whole mock-up, and then we'll be able to hit the 3D printer. So I will see you in just a bit. Okay, we've got the mock-up turned into a digital sketch. Let's review it. Okay, so I took all those design aspects and here's an overview of what the gator visor is going to be looking like. So starting with the brim here, we have the signature holes all throughout the center of the brim, and then along the perimeter, we have that bumpy dot design, 
And one thing that I added was this sort of raised curved edge so that the finished design kind of had a little bit more dimension to it and it wasn't just all kind of square edges meeting each other. And then along the top there, we have another round of holes and another bumpy pattern. And then on the back, it's gonna be open and those two slits there, I'm gonna have some sort of closure system on the back. I'm not quite sure what that's gonna be, but we'll attach whatever we're gonna do back there. And then of course, we have the two holes for the strap. And then lastly, the strap itself all together. So I think that is pretty much gonna do it for the design. I'm gonna take those files, get them all set up, and head on over to the 3D printer. Once again, I'm going to be using the flexible filament, and this will make things a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to wear. It's probably gonna have to print overnight, so let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So while things are cranking away on the 3D printer, you are probably wondering, am I even allowed to make this? After the whole cease and desist debacle, which yeah, I, uh, I do have it framed, because why not? This thing, is, this thing is like golden to me. So in the end, there were two things that the lawyers from the company which shall not be named asked me to do, and here they are. As previously mentioned, would like to amicably resolve this matter. To that end, request that you one, replace the name of gloves with something creative that doesn't incorporate the trademark in the product name. As we went over earlier, they are now officially called the Gator Grips. And two, remove any images on the website that feature the logo, either in the rivet, strap, or otherwise. Exhibit B, the website with all of the logos properly photoshopped out. So with those two matters out of the way, I think we're in the clear. So the creation that we have going on the 3D printer right now, one is inspired by my original Gator Grip gloves and will be called the Gator Visor, and two will feature no copywritten trademarked logos whatsoever. So with that being said, that thing has like 17 hours left to print on it. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you tomorrow morning with hopefully first version of the Gator Visor almost getting there. Good night. Would you just look at it? This thing is amazing. Fresh off the 3D printer, we have the Gator Visor looking spectacular. It was an extremely successful print. You can see the nice flexible nature of this filament. We have the very functional holes here across the top, and of course that lovely raised pattern. On the back here, we have the space that we're gonna use to attach our closure system. <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job taking this design and translating it into the visor. One thing I didn't really talk about on the design is that I printed the visor completely flat just so that it would be easier on the print bed of the 3D printer. I've been playing with it a little bit and it's sort of pliable, but I think I'm gonna lightly hit it with a heat gun and then hold it there and hopefully it will stay a little bit more bent so that it can look a little bit more like a real visor hat. But we're doing pretty good so far. So one idea that I did come up with for the visor was instead of having a small strap that just sat here, what if we had a strap that went all the way down and around your chin? Because you never know what type of conditions you're gonna be rocking your gator visor in. So, so I think that will be a good addition. I'm gonna print both and see how they look. But let's hit this guy with the heat gun. That should be looking pretty good, I think. Okay, so the next order of business is to head to the fabric store and get the accessories we need for the back closure system. I'm still not entirely sure what I wanna use, but I'm pretty positive they'll have a bunch of options. I might buy a few, see what works best. And then when we get back, the straps will be done. And we will be almost complete with the Gator Visor. Over and out. All right, I'm back from the store and here are two ideas that I came up with. One, spandex. And then two would be a little bit more traditional of this clasp in the back and using that with this tough nylon webbing, I think could work out well. I might give the spandex a try first and then go into this guy. But 
we have down here the strap. Look at that. You are going to be locked and loaded, ready to go, wherever you're wearing your gator visor with this nice chin strap. And oh yeah, no logos. We got some nice metal rivets this time. You can maybe wear it around back sometimes, flip it up and over, strap yourself in. It's looking pretty good. Where is, I did print the other one. This would be the small one that would maybe just sit on the front. I guess you could almost do both of them maybe if there was two different holes, but I sort of like the big design. I think that is going to be extra meme worthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out which closure system is going to be the best one to use for this. And then the Gator Visor. <laughs> the Gator Visor will be ready for prime time, baby. The internet is not ready for this one. I gotta tell you. Whew. <laughs> I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. The Gator Visor is absolutely next level. Is it bad if I almost like this more than the Gator Grips? Just look at it. Okay, so the closure system that I came up with was the nylon webbing and clasp. I think it gives it kind of a classic look and it works really well. Snugly fit on my head. And we have all of those amazing design accents that we incorporated from the Gator Grips into the Gator Visor. As always, with all of my unnecessary inventions, be sure to go head on over to Instagram where you can see the official product photos. And without a doubt, I would give this 10 cease and desists out of 10. But actually, don't nobody send me a cease and desist on this one, please. This is just new Hall of Fame material. Go down to the comments below and let me know what you want the next item in the Gator collection to be and it might just come to life one day. If you enjoyed watching me make this completely unnecessary invention, be sure to uh, go down there and smash that subscribe button. While you're there, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And with that, I think that is all I have for you today. I'm gonna go hit the streets in this bad boy, then probably head out to Paris. Even though Fashion Week is over, if I show up in this thing, they're gonna resurrect it for Fashion Week too. All right, I will see you at the next invention. Good day.